interesting was how to give um, choke how to unlodge a choking agent on a baby because like I said how do you give the Heimlich maneuver on a baby so with five easy steps that will show you how to go do first aid on a choking baby so my CPR teacher couldn't come in today to give me a baby so we have Miss Froggy and she will be our baby today so the first step is always to check the scene you want to make sure that the scene is safe so if you're at a coffee shop, most likely it's safe. But if you're at an accident, you most likely want to call 911 and make sure that personnel comes through. But they may also guide you through, so just follow their instructions. Now, you would proceed. The second step is to ask the mother, and you're the mom today, if you can do CPR and first aid on the baby. So now you're the mother, and I'm going to introduce myself. Hi, I'm Aimee. I noticed that your baby is choking the baby you care about your baby. <laughs> Can I do CPR and first aid on your baby? Sure. Okay. I am CPR certified and it's going to be okay and I will walk you through all the steps so you know exactly what I'm doing on your baby. Sounds good to you? Mm -hmm. Now, pretend that you said no. Can no, I do CPR no. on your baby? No. <laughs> okay. So now what you would do is just call 911. There's nothing else you can do since the parent, you have to ask guardian permission. And if you're alone, you can always proceed to give CPR slash first aid on the baby. So the second step is to give five flat back blows. So as he said, that is the first step. The third step, but technically the first step. So what you would do, first you want to make sure that the baby, if the baby can, you want to make sure that the baby can dislodge by itself. So if it's crying and it's still choking pretty loudly, it probably means that it can do it by itself. So you just want to carry it like this. And if not, you want to do five back blows. You're going to put your hand on the back of the baby, on this froggy. And then you put another hand on the chest of the baby. And then you're going to use your left leg, because you're using your left hand, to put the baby downwards. And you want to make sure that it's on a slope. So if the, the, it dislodges, it can come out. And you're going to get five back blows with the hilt of your hand on the shoulder blades. So you go one, two, three, four, Five. Okay, so then the next step, the fourth step, is to switch legs and put the baby forwards. And what you're going to do right now is five chest compressions. And you're going to do it right below the nipple line. So let's pretend the nipple's right here. And you put two fingers, and then you're going to go five chest compressions, one and a half inches below. So you go one, two, three, four, five. You also want to make sure that your fingers are straight, but because there's um, this frog talks, there's a little thing on it, so you can't really go below. And then the last step is to switch feet and continue the five flat blow, back blows and the five chest compressions until the piece dislodges. If the baby becomes unconscious, you want to do CPR. And CPR for the baby is pretty, it's pretty much the same as a typical adult. Except when you do the chest compressions, you again want to use your two fingers below the nipple line, and you want to go one and a half inches below. And common, common things that are in the baby, according to the Red Cross, that might be choking it would be hot dogs, uncooked foods, raw vegetables. So if you see that the baby is not able to start breathing, whether that's through CPR or through the five back blows and the chest compressions, you want to take your finger and swipe through inside and clear the area for any items. So with these five easy steps, you just learn how to save a life. According to uh, the Department of Health, 25% of all emergency 
emergency state room visits, all of them can be can be prevented through the use of first aid. Because again, children under the age of four and infants are the ones that are most likely to have a choking hazard in them. And if you want to learn first aid, you can always take a Cal Poly class, and it's pretty cheap, it's pretty easy, it's a one credit, and it's due credit or no credit. 